I'm Bill. I'm Mark. And this is our tree farm. We work here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA, with my old man Don, my son Michael, and my son James. And one thing we've learned after 35 years in the tree business, we never know what job we're going to do next. Here and behind me is an example of a winter burn holly. This is a Nellie Stevens holly. Many Nellie Stevens hollies got winter burn in Pennsylvania this year. This is 2014. We had a very bad cold winter with lots of winds and many days where the high temperature was in the teens. When you see trees like this, this, it is something to be concerned about and you shouldn't monitor it. There is a couple things you can do. The first thing you need to do is a lot of people like to take off the dead leaves. You don't really have to do that and sometimes you don't want to do that because if you take off a leaf that's dead, that you think it may be dead, it actually may not and may hurt the tree later. The best thing to do is to wait for a little bit later in the spring to see which leaves are actually good and which leaves are actually bad before you remove anything. The next thing you can also look at is that this one here it has lots of green stems on it. And when you have green stems there's a chance that the buds may still be alive so don't remove stems that are green. Wait until later in the spring to see which stems blossom out with new buds and flowers and which stems are actually truly dead. You can see right on this one here it's just about ready to flower with the flowers of the Nellie Stevens holly. So you don't know how far back where the buds are. Just give it some time and you'll see which buds are alive and which buds are dead. The main idea is don't panic when you see your plants like this. Give it some time. See how the plant's going to react before you go start ripping out and getting new trees. And this was a well-established uh, Nellie Stevens, is that correct? Yes, this was planted in here probably when it was like four to five feet tall and it's definitely up to eight maybe even a little bit up to nine foot tall so it, even if you planted your tree last year a lot of trees that were planted prior to that that had been established and been in the ground also had damages well thank you Mike and what other trees suffered wind burn damage this year from the severe winter all evergreens suffered this year. It doesn't matter whether it was a spruce, a pine, a holly, a skip laurel, you, they all got hurt with this really bad wet winter. All right, just give whatever you see. Sometimes you'll see stuff that loses the needles. Some of it doesn't look very good. Whatever it is, just take a look at it and let it do what it's going to do. Don't force something or don't start cutting until you know what is actually done. Okay, thank you very much. If you have any questions, you can call Michael at 267-446-2376. All right, very good.